What's going on, Chosen Elect? Glad y'all could join me. Get you something to eat. Get you something to drink. If you're fasting, that's even better. Get you some dark shades because it's going to get bright in a minute. Okay? Fasten them seatbelts. Let's start today with uh, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 5. Ephesians 4, verse 5. Check it out. This is uh, one Lord. One faith, one baptism. Keep that in mind. Y'all highlight that. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all, through all, and in you all. Keep that in mind. One God, one Father, one Lord, one faith, right? One baptism, right? Who is above all and through all and in you all. <laughs> but unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. The measure of the gift of Christ, that's the same as uh, one God. That's one God, one Father, who is above all and in all. Christ is, is God. That's what it's telling us right there. Christ is God, who is in all. About, if, any, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his, right? Romans 8 and 9. So, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Now, who gets this one baptism? Let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians. I'm going to just show you that these Gentiles, real quick. Gentiles, Lord going to give us some good meal today. I'm going to tell you, prepare yourself. So, uh, prepare yourself to eat. Okay, I uh, hope y'all came hungry. Uh, what is it? 1 Corinthians 10, watch this. This is the one body of Christ that we just read uh um one baptism one baptism so these are your gentiles right here this is Corinthians uh moreover brother I would not that you should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud look who who is this who's our fathers right our ancestry and all passed through the sea and all were baptized unto Moses in a cloud. What people was that? It was only one people. That one people is one body, right? All right. And that one people share one faith. Unto Moses in a cloud and in the sea. Uh, and all did, here it is, here's the proof. All did eat that same spiritual meat. That would be Christ. One God, one Father, one Lord. Right, verse four. And all did drink that same spiritual drink, for they drank that spiritual rock of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. That's what we just read. That's what we just read. So these are your Gentiles. Uh, let's go back to Ephesians. Ephesians, this time three and eight. Ephesians three and eight because these are the people that get the inheritance okay uh ephesians 3 8 says uh can y'all see that y'all will in a second unto me who am less than all the least of all saints this this is paul the less of all saints uh the least of all saints is this grace given that i should preach among the gentiles and we just saw those are the ones that were baptized all right, in the body of Christ, the Gentiles, the unsearchable riches of Christ. Okay, All right, check this out, verse 9. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the what did we start with? Hey, uh, let's start, let's go up to six. This is what we wanted. Six, my fault, yeah. That the Gentiles, these are the ones that were baptized, should be fellow heirs. These are the fellow heirs of salvation, the, 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 right? And of the same body. That's the body of Christ, y'all. And partakers of the promise in Christ by the gospel. Y'all see that? All right, these are your Gentiles, which is the ones that were baptized. Y'all get this is the one, they have the one Lord, the one faith, the, the one baptism. 
our fathers, right? And their seed. That still are Israelites, the children of Israel. Because let's read this one more time. That the Gentiles should be fellow heirs. They are the, the ones that get the promise. And of the same body, right? They're the Israelites, partakers of the, his promise in Christ by the gospel. Because we go to Romans, right? Y'all know where I go. I know y'all just called it out. Romans 9. All you Bible readers. Romans 9. Let's get her. And we can start with verse 3. Uh, Romans 9. I thought, yeah. Romans 9, verse 3. Okay. And it says, uh, let me get my phone here. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ, from my brethren, look, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Those are his brethren, according to his flesh, who are Israelites. There it is. That's what we just read in Ephesians uh, uh, 3, right? Who are Israelites, right? This is the fellow heirs, y'all. These are the fellow heirs of the same body. That's what it was telling us. Uh, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption? Look, the glory and the covenants, the giving of the law and the service of God and uh, promises. Look at that. There it is right there. It says it all right there. The promises go to the Israelites. Okay. Whose are the fathers? And we just read that in Galatians. The fathers, fellow heirs, are the same, same promise, man. Uh, whose are the fathers and of whom the concerning the flesh, see that? Christ came. Christ came to give us his flesh. His flesh. His blood. His spirit. His life. His faith. Right? Right? Uh, who is over all God blessed forever. Amen. Right? Right? Uh, not as though the word of God had taken non-effect for they are not all Israel who are Israel. See, cause they not a member of our forefathers. Uh, and many of them was not mixed with faith coming out of Egypt. So they couldn't enter into the promised land cause they were not mixed with faith. Jesus is that faith. We just read and, and, um, and that rock that followed them was Christ. So they didn't have another spirit like Joshua and Caleb. Who, hold, who gave their whole heart to God, right? So uh, those are the circumcised in the heart that give their whole heart, which would be, uh, let's go on and get it. Numbers 32, real quick. Numbers 32 and 10. Not all Israel is Israel, okay? Uh, but those that have that one Lord, one faith and that baptism. That's what we're going with. That one Lord, one faith, baptism, one baptism, uh, one father above all, one father, one God, uh, one Christ, right? We are in all, above all, and through all. That's the inheritance. Numbers 32 10. And the Lord's anger was kindled the same time. And he swears, saying, surely none of the men that came up out of Egypt, our fathers, y'all, right? From not all Israel is Israel, right? Because they don't have the faith. Those that don't have the faith of Jesus. Watch this. From 20 years old and upward shall see the land which I swear unto Abraham and to Isaac and to Jacob. Keep that in mind. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because they had the faith. Of what? The promises of what adoption, the inheritance, the blessings, right? We read all that. Y'all y'all remember we read that? Because they have not wholly, there it is, y'all, with the whole heart, the whole soul. Remember Jesus said, love the Father with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. That's by his faith, right? That's by his faith. Uh, they have not Holy followed me with the whole heart. They don't believe in all that word. Shout out great mighty lion. Your videos were excellent, brother. The 
Uh, Yo, Villa was always excellent, but the last two or three, man, woo! Definitely 100. Perfection, bro. And uh, uh, they have holy, and, and, and you brought a lot of this out, too, what I'm reading. You brought a lot of this out, so I guess I'm piggybacking a little bit because they have not wholly followed me because you brought out that one. The Bible is 100 percent all scripture by giving by inspiration of God. That's it. If we don't have faith in what Jesus said, John 7, 38, believe on me as the scripture has said. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. That's it. That's it. They don't have that faith. Right. Save Caleb. Did we, uh, verse 12. Save Caleb, the son of Jephna, the Kenzite, and Joshua, the son of Nun, for they have holy, there it is, followed the Lord. Well, they came, they went into the promised land. 13. And the Lord's anger was kindled against Israel, and he made them wander in the wilderness. That's where our people are today. Right? Your next door neighbor, your co workers, all them, they wander in the wilderness blind, dumb, deaf, and blind. Right? Because they don't have they they eyesight would be the Lord. They right eye is the Lord. Right? They uh wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is the Lord. We just read that. That's being in, baptized into him. What is that? First Corinthians 1 said the Lord is our wisdom, our righteousness, our sanctification, and our redemption. The Lord of God, we are in the Lord, who is our wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. The Lord becomes all of that to us. He becomes our life. L-I-F-E. We must be hidden in him through what? That baptism, right? Into his name, into his world, into his kingdom, into his grace, into his love, into his mercy, into the fullness of the Godhead, which is Christ Jesus. Colossians uh, 2. Uh, I like to go with verse 8 to 10. Colossians 2, 8 to 10. Uh, really, Colossians 2, verse 6 to 15. That's the circumcision, all of that, right in there. Christ is all of that. Uh, increase of, where we at? 14? Uh, 15, let's read again. And the Lord's anger was kindled against Israel, and he made them wander. In the wilderness, 40 years until all that generation that had done evil in his sight and uh, in the sight of the Lord was consumed. They didn't have the, the faith, the promise. They, didn't, they, didn't, they, they were not mixed with faith, which was G, today. That's, G, that's the name of God, the name of salvation. The name of God is the name of salvation, Jesus Christ. That's the name above every name. That's the, the glory for the children of Israel. And we didn't finish reading that in Ephesians 3. That went on to verse 9 because most of y'all know it. Myself, the mighty great land, we bring it out all the time. That name Jesus was hidden in God. It was hidden. That's the mystery. That's the mystery. That's our hidden glory. Okay? But only those that believe every word of God. Like the video, uh, the great mighty lion just did. Y'all go check that out. His check out his last several video, right? Uh, you got to believe every word of God. Those are instructions in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good work, so you can get your inheritance reward. Okay, let's take a little quantum leap. Uh, get to a subject, man. Says, yeah, yeah, hey man, I appreciate y'all. I really do. Let's go to 1 Samuel 11. Let's go to 1 Samuel 11. We'll start there. 1 Samuel 11. And uh, all that was a part of setting this up, man, to where we going, you know. Um, 1 Samuel 11. We start with verse 1. And Nahash the Ammonite came up and encamped against Jabesh Gilead, right? And all the men of Jabesh said unto Nahash, Make a covenant with us, and we will serve thee. And Nahash, 2, verse 2. Nahash, the Ammonite, answered them, On this condition will I make a covenant with you, that I may thrust out your right eyes. That's what our people don't have. We don't have no fight. 
We don't got no fight. He want to take away their fight, their strength. You know what I'm saying? Now, he want to handicap you. Right? He said that I may thrust out your right eyes, check this out, and lay it for a reproach upon Israel. This is what all the nation, they confederate against us. Remember Psalms 83? Because that's what they've done. Taking crafty counsel against us and, and taking away our right eye to lay a reproach upon us. Our right eye is our landmark, which is Jesus Christ. Right? The black men, they've taken away, uh, they've thrown heaps upon Jerusalem. Right? Curses the man to take away his neighbor's landmark. Deuteronomy 27, 17. Right? And uh, remember, Christ is our heir. He's the heir of the children of Israel. That's your inherit, my inheritance. Right? We are the Lord's inheritance, the 12 tribes. This whole Bible is for the 12 tribes. Remember that those are the people that were baptized. We covered that. Those are the ones that were called Gentiles. We covered that. Right? Fellow heirs. Right? Of the same promises. Who are Israelites. Y'all know we read it. Right? Let's finish this. And the elders of Jabez said unto him, Give us seven days. Right? Respite that we may send messengers unto all the coasts of Israel. And then if there be no man, see, they, 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 we looking for a, a hero. If there be no man to save us, we will come out to deep. We need a hero, right? Or you could say savior, right? Then came, verse four, then came messengers to, to Gibba of Saul and told the tidings in the ears of the people and all the people lifted up their voice and wept. And behold, Saul came after and heard of the field. And Saul said, What aileth the people that they weep? And they told him the tidings of the men of Jabesh. Plug out your right eyes, Israel. Plug out our right eyes. Verse 6. And the Spirit, check this out. This is the Holy Ghost. This is why we need the Holy Ghost, y'all. This is why we need that baptism. In the Holy Ghost, which is one Lord, one faith, right? One God, which is Christ Jesus. We read all of that in Ephesians. And the Spirit of God came upon Saul when he heard these tidings, and his anger was kindled greatly. See, this is the Lord's anger. This is the Lord's fury. This is how he's going to take down these nations. All these nations who are confederate, all these nations that uh, defy his name, defy the armies of Israel. Right, all these nations that reproach the children of Israel, right, infringe upon our God given rights, right? All these nations that are confederate against us, man. Right? Verse seven, and he took a yoke of oxen and hewed them in pieces and sent them throughout the coast of Israel by the hands of messengers, saying, Whosoever cometh not forth after Saul, after your leader, it's always the one who was anointed here as king. And after Samuel, so shall it be done to his oxen. And the fear of the Lord fell upon the people and they came out with one consent. That's what we're going to have to do too. be one consent, one mind, one accord. Then we just read all that one Lord, one faith, one baptism. We got to be a one consent with the scriptures. One head. The Bible said he appointed us one head. Right? The head of every man is Christ. First Corinthians 11, 3. Right? Hosea chapter 1, those last two verses. Uh, Judah and Israel will appoint themselves one head. One consent. All right? That's what we got to do. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One body of Christ. This is for one people, the inheritance of God. Uh, Psalms 33, 12. Blesses the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. Israel is God's inheritance. We are established. Everything is established, y'all. It's written in the scripture for us to see, and it's established as it is in heaven, so is it in earth. You understand? That's what Jesus said. That will be done in heaven. Didn't he say that? On earth as it is in heaven. That will be done in earth as it is in heaven. All right? And when that's his kingdom ruling. His kingdom rules in heaven. And he wants his kingdom to rule in earth. Wasn't that his prayer? And Matthew 6. Our Father which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. In earth as it is in heaven. 
That's what we doing. That's what you doing. That's what I'm doing. We bringing in the will of God uh, from heaven into the earth. All right, where we at? Verse uh, eight. Uh, uh, I, uh, I think that's it right there. Okay, well, it can be it for time's sake because uh, choose you out of man, right? We need a hero, right? So you choose you out of man. Okay, Saul had the anointing on him. So Charles was the man. The, the man that we, we got to have, leaders got to have the anointing. Uh, 1 Samuel, let's go to 1 Samuel 17. 1 Samuel, since we in 1 Samuel, let's go on up to 17. 1 Samuel 17, this time let's start with verse 3. Verse 3. And the Philistine stood on a mountain, right, on the one side. And Israel stood on a mountain on the other side. See, the kingdom of God suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. Keep that in mind. Kingdom of God suffered violence. That's Matthew 11, verse 11. And the Philistines, and like the Edomites, they on a mountain. The, uh, the Edomites, remember the Lord said he laid their mountains, and they heritage his waste. That's who's ruling now, Edom. We know that from the book of Obadiah. So Edom is ruling now, and they are on their mountain. But God has already uh, prophesied, pronounced, he laid their mountains and their heritage waste. Edom is waste, right? So any of y'all drinking from their cup, which we know the whole world is, they drinking waste water. Edom is waste water. You understand? Let's finish this out. And the Philistines stood on a mountain on one side, and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side, and there was a valley between them. That's let's say that's the earth or the world. That's that's the, the uh, battleground, right? Because <clears throat> the wicked want the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, Job 9 24. But they're not gonna possess it forever. They have it temporary, y'all. Keep that in mind. And we are supposed to be crossing over at this time to where the uh the holy mount. We supposed to be that's what the heads, the anointed priest of God and kings, uh, myself, and the mighty great lion, we're leading you to the holy mount of transfiguration. All right, let's finish this. And there went out a champion uh, of the enemies got champions, y'all. All right. A champion out of the camp of the Philistines. Right. And uh, I see great, great mighty lion. You got a video just went up. I can't wait to go see it. That just popped up. And um, of the Philistines named Goliath, right, of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. And he had a helmet of brass upon his head, and he was armed, right, with a coat. Our enemies are armed. Look at the police. Look at the Edomites and they police. Man, they got guns on their side. They got mace, handcuffs, batons. Pepper spray, uh, radios for call for backup. These dudes is armed, are they not? Are they not? These dudes is armed. So these are the Goliaths. These are the giants, right? Our enemies are, are the giants. And the Bible said they got judges, right? They got politicians, right? They got so called law, -making. but all this is corrupt. All that's on the, remember, they mountains and they heritage is waste. Oh, I'm bringing it out on you, Esau. They mountains and they heritage is waste, y'all. Okay. They are bread for us. Today, they are bread for us. According to the scriptures, according to the word. Do you have the faith for Joshua? And do you have the faith for Caleb? Remember, they wholeheartedly gave themselves. That's why they were able to enter into the promised land. God was angry with everybody else who was not what mixed with faith. When we get to the book of Hebrews, we see that our forefather, our answer were not mixed with faith. God was not well pleased with many of them. First Corinthians 10. We didn't finish reading it, but we, you know, the story. He was not well pleased with them. They just wanted to eat and drink and play out here. in we're in the wilderness. They in the wilderness. Uh, you out here playing. You, you're being money changers. Right? You after a corruptible crown? Right? Whether you going to school, you're trying to get more education, you're trying to get a better job, you're trying to get more money, more money, more money. Corruptible crown. Our women are just shaking their butts. 
uh, and your men making video, everybody think they a comedian? Flesh, flesh, corruption. All right? You want that bag. They call it get that bag. You got to get that bag. That's what you're chasing. Uh, riches profit not in the day of wrath. You understand me? Riches profit not in the day of wrath. Right? A wise man will seek the Lord, his righteousness. You better be seeking salvation. Many, when that day comes, it said, many will strive in and in shall not be able once the Lord rise up. Anyway, let's finish this, man. Where we at? Verse 5. And he had a helmet of brass. We, we covered all that. A, a helmet of brass. He was decked down like the police. Right? They, military police, basically. They military. They ain't fighting against their own people, the Constitution. Y'all already know the story. That's the holy covenant of God. That's what they fighting. The holy covenant. They on their side of the mountain. We got to be on our side of the mountain. Right? Our mountain is what? The holy mountain of God. The scriptures. Upon this rock, Jesus said, I will build my church and the gates of hell cannot prevail against it. The mountain of the scriptures. That holy ground of the scriptures, man. Hide yourself in God's word. So myself and the mighty great lion been preaching it and teaching it. We putting it out there. Um, uh, so uh helmet of brass, a coat of coat of mail, the weight shackles. Y'all okay. y'all see it. Y'all see it all. He was decked out, man. Verse six, he had uh uh graves of brass upon his legs. Uh, and a target of bra uh, brass between his shoulders. Uh, this dude is decked like the police, right? Like they militaries. They got it. They got some weapons, man. Don't they got some weapons? They, don't they got some weapons? Uh, his staff uh, of his spear, his weaver's beam, uh, spears here, his weight. Oh, he got spears. Uh, he got it all, man. Iron uh, shield went before him. They got tasers. The police got tasers, all that, man. And, and, and anxious to use them upon the children of Israel. And when we have verse 8, and he stood and cried unto the armies of Israel. This is what they doing. This is what they military police. That's what they are. Uh, in, in the 50 states and all around the world, they military police, man. Like, they, they the armies of the enemies, man. Right, that armies of who defy the children of Israel, and we see that. Right, what that's Zechariah. What is that? Eleven five, and they hold themselves not guilty. Right, whose possessors slay them, and hold themselves not guilty. Now, why are you come out and set and battle in array? Am I a uh, not a Philistine, and you servants of Saul? Choose you out of man. Here we go again. They saying the same thing. Remember uh, uh, the Ammonites? J-Bash said, thrust out your right ass. Choose you out of man. Thrust out your right ass. All that stuff. See, they doing the same thing. All of them be doing it. They had to choose you out of man for you and let him come down to me. This is what we got. I mean, they saying choose you out of man, y'all. Verse uh, 9. If he be not able to fight with me and kill me, look at this, y'all, then we will be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then you shall be our servants and serve us. And this is what they've been doing. You know, God raised up Gideon. He raised up judges to fight our enemies, man. Well, let's do verse 10. Let's do verse 10. Before I, I don't want to get off my point. And the Philistines said, I defy, look, the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. That's what they want, y'all. They want the Lord to put their foot, his foot up their ass. They saying, give us a man. You know, all Israel, check this out. All Israel, which one we want? Let's do uh, Ezra. Let's go to Ezra 3.1. Watch this. They say, give us a man. Here's what we got to do, y'all. Here's our one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Ezra 3, 1. Uh, for example, Ezra 3, 1. And when the seventh month was come, and the children of Israel were in the cities of the people, 
gather themselves together as one man to Jerusalem. We got to gather ourselves together as one man. Now, that's what the new covenant is. Uh, which it will be before we get to the new covenant. Let's go to uh, Judges. Let's go to Judges. 20. Judges 20. And one. Judges 21, it says, Then all the children of Israel went out, and the congregation was gathered together as one man. Look. See, we got to get we gathered together as one man from Dan to Beersheba with the land of Gideon unto the Lord. And miss gathered together as one man unto the Lord. Unto the Lord. And so you see, he the same yesterday, today, and forever. Nothing changes. So let's go to second thing. Y'all know where I'm going. Second Thess 2 1. Second Thess 2 1. Second Thess 2 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him. As one man. Let's go back to that Ephesians. We got we gather together today as one man. Ephesians 2. Let's get it. Let's get it. Ephesians 2 10. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus. This is your, this is what we got. This is a <laughs> before we go there. Y'all that that's that y'all know that's me. I don't even want to go there yet. Let's go to uh before we get there, let's go to uh what I want. First Samuel eight. First Samuel eight. First Samuel this was see God in his wisdom, man. He want us thinking like him. We were thinking like him way back in the day, really. 1 Samuel 8 and 19. Ain't every, all things work together for the good, man, with the children of Israel. Look what our forefathers. I mean, this is the landmark, man. They set it up, man. Uh, who uh, were eventually even called Gentiles. Y'all know that. We failed. But the word... The word of God, man, uh, stands forever. Stands forever. Check this out. Check this out. First Samuel 8, 19. Nevertheless, the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel. That's our fathers, man, our, our ancestors. And they said, nay, but we will have a king over us. Give us a king. This is why I answer our forefathers. So we, we can't be mad at them because they did. They asked for the right thing. Yeah, it was the wrong time, all right, uh, for the wrong reasons, because th the Lord was already being a king to us. He was already being a king. That's what we didn't understand. Let's read that again. Nevertheless, the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel, and they said, Nay, but we will have a king rule of. This is the end of Judges. We're coming to the end of Judges. Now we're coming into the king era, the king era, and we know he gave us Saul was the first king, right? Then, verse 20, that we also may be like all the nations. We wanted a king like all the nations. They start bringing in kings. And that our king, now look at this, y'all. This is important. That our king, right? Our king, can y'all see that? May judge us and go out before us and fight our battles. This is why we wanted a king. Then this, this was the good though. This was good though. We didn't know it at the time. It was good. It was evil because again, we didn't know the Lord was our king. Let's read it again. Uh, verse 20, that we may be like all the nations and that our king may judge us and go out before us and fight our battles. Now these dudes is asking us to choose a man, right? These heathens keep saying, choose a man. Come fight with us. Choose a man. And we will serve. Whoever win get uh they be the masters, whoever lose gotta be the servants. Right? And so uh what we want now? First uh uh well, Samuel, we still in Samuel, right? Uh Samuel uh let's go to uh twelve. Samuel twelve twelve. First Samuel 12, 12. First Samuel 12, 12. 
uh, First Samuel 12, 12. And Nahash, when he had saw, uh, and when, yeah, okay, my fault. And when ye saw that Nahash, the king of the children of Amnon, came against you, ye said unto me, Nay, but a king shall reign over us. When the Lord your God was your king, the Lord our God was our king. He was already our king. Uh, and now, therefore, be, behold, the king whom you have chosen and whom you have desired. Uh, and behold, the Lord has set a king over you. That's till this day. Now, Jesus Christ, y'all already know he's the king now. For if you would fear the Lord and serve him and obey his voice and not rebel against his the commandment of the Lord, he shall then shall both you and your king reign that reigneth over you continue following the Lord. But if you will not obey the voice of the Lord, but rebel against the commandment of the Lord, then shall the hand of the Lord be against you as it was against your father. So that was, sometimes our father was walking up right and sometimes they wouldn't. Right? Sometimes they was cool, sometimes they wouldn't. Uh, uh, what do we want? Some more there. Let's go to uh, 1 Samuel. Do we want 10? Let's go to 10. I think that's what we want. Yeah, that's it. 1 Samuel 10. And let's go with 18. 1 Samuel 10, let's do 18. Uh, and said unto the children of Israel, Thus said the Lord God of Israel, I brought up Israel out of Egypt, right? And delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians and out of the hand of all kingdoms and of them that oppress you. He was already being a king. Look, that was before we started asking for a king. He was already being a king. Y'all getting this? Verse 19, and you have this day rejected your God. Remember, not all Israel's is Israel. These are the same. We in the midst of the same forefathers with that spirit that rejected the Lord. Remember, said not all Israel is Israel. That's why our people, as a, that's why he's after that remnant. That remnant that's mixed with faith. We know he crowned Jesus king. And we have to crown Jesus king. Right? We have to crown him king. Uh, the Lord do the look, look, he did uh, with Saul. Let me start with Saul. You know what he did? He uh, anointed Saul privately, and then he anointed King Saul openly before Israel. Same with Jesus, he anointed Jesus privately. That's what Jesus said, Father, glorify thy name. Remember, Jesus said that in John 12. And uh, the father said, I have glorified and I will glorify it again. So he 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 anointed Jesus privately. That's when he was hidden, hidden in God. That's your Ephesians 3, 9, privately. And then he anointed Jesus openly. Remember John the Baptist's baptism? Jesus in River Joy. And the heavens opened up and the spirit uh, uh, descended like a dove upon Jesus. All right. And then... Uh, we have to anoint Jesus as our king. The same as uh, uh, when Saul died. Uh, remember, uh, Saul was in control of uh, Israel. Basically, he was in over Israel. And David had the men of Judah. The men of Judah were under David, King David. So when Saul died, eventually... You know, they put his son, Ish, 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 Ibosheth, Ibosheth uh, ruled for a couple of years. And then um, David was ruling over Judah for, what, seven years, seven years. And then finally, Israel came to their senses and said, well, let's go get David to rule over all Israel, Judah and Israel. OK. And so. Um, um, what I'm saying is they anointed David again. Y'all know David was first anointed at his house privately. Remember all seven of his brothers and David was the last one. He was the keeper of the sheep and God rejected seven. David's seven older, older brothers. That was the privately. 
and, and Samuel anointed David at his house. And so all of Israel, when you get to second Samuel chapter five, this time Israel and Judah anoints David openly. All right. So that's what I'm saying. That's what we got to do with Jesus Christ. Even though he was anointed privately, we have to anoint him, you know, as a nation openly. You know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, let's we'll finish this. Verse 18. Then said the children of Israel, thus said the Lord God of Israel, I brought up Israel out of Egypt and delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians and out of the hand of the kingdoms and of them that oppress you. Right? Verse 19. And you have this day rejected your God who himself saved you out of all your adversaries. Right? And your tribulations. This is who we want. And ye have said unto him, Nay, but set a king over us. Now, therefore, present yourselves before the Lord by your tribes and by your thousand. Right? The Lord was already being a king. And um, let's go to Jeremiah 10.10. 10. Jeremiah 10.10. 10. We almost there, y'all. We're going to bring it in. We're going to bring it home. Jeremiah 10.10. 10. Tune, tune, Jeremiah. And it says, uh, but the Lord, can y'all see that? I hope y'all can. Y'all will in a second. It says, there it is. But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God and everlasting King. You see that? This don't change. And then he just manifested in the person of Jesus Christ. He's the everlasting King. At his wrath, the earth shall tremble and the nation shall not be able to abide his indignation. When he come with that indignation, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. Okay, now we see. Now let's go to the New Testament. Y'all know where I'm going. John 1, what is it? 149. John 1 and 49. And Nathaniel. What is that? Okay, there it is. And the Daniel answered and said unto him, Rabbi, thou art the son of God. Thou art the king of Israel. There it is. The son of God is the king. This is who God anointed for us, y'all. God fights our battle to him whom he anoints as king. When he anointed Saul, Saul was, uh, 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 nobody could stand before Saul until he messed up. Gideon, nobody could stand before Gideon. Samuel, nobody could stand before Samuel. David, nobody could stand before David. Y'all get this? Like, no man could stand before them. Joshua, no man could stand before them. And today, these last days, it's Jesus. It's Jesus. No man can stand before us when we got Jesus Christ, the head, the king. Or the victory comes through Jesus Christ today. Uh, 1 Corinthians... Let's get that one. 15 and 1 Corinthians 15. And we got to get back to Ephesians. I know. I know we got to get back to Ephesians. We'll end on Ephesians. 1 Corinthians 15 and uh, 55. We go there. Uh, uh, no, nah, we start with 54. It's really 50. Let's go to 50. Let's go to 50, y'all. Uh, all right. 50. Because we got to come out this flesh. That's why I'm, I want us to go out with 50. It says, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither does corruption inherit incorruption. So we got to get that transformation. Verse 55 shows you the transformation. Here's how we come get into the transformation. Uh, o death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin. The strength of sin is the law. See that? That's the, that really, that's the Mosaic law. These dudes are fighting to stay in captivity. They fighting to stay in death. They fighting to keep their right eye thrust out. Right? They fighting to stay under the curses. They fighting to stay, what? Corruptible. <laughs> right? Right? And, and mortal. They're fighting to stay mortals. Right? 
The sting of death is sin. The strength of sin is the law. Verse 57, drum roll and mic drop. This is the drum roll and mic drop. But thanks be to God, that which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the king today. This is the anointed. Christ is the anointed, the anointed one. He anoints you and me. He anoints us to be kings. Right? Uh, read the last verse. Might as well. Therefore, my brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. That's what we'll be trying to get you out of work. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Because that faith, you're building your faith. It's your faith is how you're going to overcome the world. It's through the faith. Uh, let's get that real quick. First John, and then we got to go to, uh, we got to end it with uh, Ephesians. First John 5 and 4. First John 5, 4. It says, uh, and whatsoever, whosoever, excuse me, or whatsoever is born of God, overcome whosoever is born of God overcometh the world and this is the victory thanks be to God to give us the victory to our Lord Jesus Christ this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith even our faith that faith is the gift is the gift of God and we know that's in Ephesians but before we get that in Ephesians let's go let's get it in Habakkuk let's get it in Habakkuk uh, Habakkuk what is it? Two and uh, four. I believe it. It's been a long time since I've been seeing that one. Habakkuk two and four, I think. That's it. Habakkuk two and four. And it says, Behold, his soul which is lifted is not upright in him. This is Esau. Remember, they on the mountain. That's who our enemies ruling over us today. Before it was the Moabites. And you know, that's what we're getting was the Moabites ruling over us, oppressing us. And then it was the Philistines. Y'all know the story of that with David, King David, it was the Philistines oppressing us. And then um, uh, today it's the Edomites, the book of Obadiah. And they on their mountain, they defy the armies of God. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. The just, here it is. But the just shall live by his faith. The just, the justified, shall live by God's faith, right? And our enemies, their soul ain't lifted up. I mean, their soul is lifted up with pride. That's pride. The just shall live by his faith. Now let's go on to Ephesians. We might can bring it on home from there. Well, let's see. I'm going to attempt to bring it home from Ephesians, you know. From Ephesians. One Lord, one faith, one back there. Y'all know we got all of that. One Father above all and all through all. Here's what it looks like. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained. That's that anointing right there. Right? That we should walk in them. See, that's that's what we couldn't do uh, under Mosaic law. We couldn't walk in it. I mean, that's the, in fact, let's, uh, let's get to Romans, uh, Romans 10 and, uh, four, Romans 10, four, we couldn't walk in it. Here's, a, here's the proof, because, you know, Christ hadn't come yet. The inheritance was Christ. For Christ, this is, this is the one man that's going to fight for us, y'all. This is the, the one man when they keep saying, choose you out of man to fight. And I had literally had a cat tell me the best man win, best man win. And he challenged me, challenged me physically. Uh, brother don't know what he, you know, he, you know, what did Jesus tell him on the sale? His sale girl, forgive them father for they know not what they do. Brother didn't know what he was saying. You know, that brother didn't know what he was saying. Not all Israel, Israel, they don't have the faith. So they're actually challenging the Lord to a fight. Challenging me is challenging the Lord to a fight. Right? That's what that is. Right? We are we that are, are bought with uh, of Christ, we are Christ. We that are purchased with his blood. Remember, Jesus said that they may be perfect in one, John 17. 
we're perfect in one. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one body, y'all. I don't know if you have that understanding listening to this video, but to challenge any one of us in Christ is to challenge Christ. All right. For Christ, we're reading it right now. Well, we will be reading it when we get to Ephesians. Let's see this. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believe it. Verse five. Here's what Moses said. For Moses described it that uh, the righteousness which is of the law, right? That's the righteousness of faith, you know? Faith. The, and that's receiving the faith of Jesus. That the man which doeth those things shall live in them. And we couldn't do it till the circumcision of the heart came. Which is Romans 15, 8. Romans 15, 8. We couldn't do walk in it till the circumcision of the heart came. Now, what they going to do with this, this verse? They said, not all Israel, Israel. Here it is right here. This make you or break you. This here makes you or break you. Uh, as far as being Israel. Now, I say that Jesus Christ was a mediator of the circumcision for the truth of God. He bringing the truth to confirm the promises. There it is. The, the real Israel the true worshipers worship the Father in this, the Spirit and the truth in Jesus Christ. One God, one Father, one faith, one Lord, one baptism, in all, through all, above all. It's Jesus Christ. The circumcision. He comes to circumcise us. You can't enter into the house of God without being circumcised. Right? That's the covenant. The circumcision is the holy covenant to confirm the promises made unto our father that's the promises of the circumcision that 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 the gentile there it is the gentile we know they were baptized we read that first corinthians 10 come on now baptized by moses those who were baptized by moses are the gentile called by his name those are the same body israel and judah was split israel and judah was split all right jesus the circumcision makes us one, one people, one people again unto the Lord. Uh, Genesis 34. Let's get it. Genesis 34. This is taking me somewhere. I didn't know I was going to go all here. Genesis 34. What we want? 14. Uh, Genesis 34. Yeah, we, we start with 14. Uh. And they said unto them, we cannot do this thing to give our sister to one that is uncircumcised. Uh, and that's uncircumcised in heart today, uh, which would be Romans 2, 28, 29. Right. Uh, for that were a reproach unto us. That's a reproach. We're talking about that reproach, thrusting out your right eye. Right. We don't have our right eyes when we're not circumcised. Right. So we can't fight. So we can only be servants to our enemies, right? Because you don't have your right eye. Verse 15. But in this, we will consent unto you if you will be as we be, that every male of you be circumcised. Then we will give our daughters unto you and we will take your daughters unto us and we will dwell with you and we will become one people. One people, but if you would not hearken unto us to be circumcised, then we will not take our daughters. Then we will take our daughters and we will be gone. All right. Uh, and then these dudes, they raped uh, Jacob's. Now, y'all know the story there. So uh, Jacob's sons tricked them, told them, y'all need to be circumcised. We'll be one people. You know, with the circumcision, which goes to Genesis 17, the promise of Abraham. That's why uh, uh, the promise of Abraham. Let's go to. Uh, 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 Genesis 17, 6, Genesis 17, 6. And I will make thee exceedingly fruitful and I will make nations of thee. And kings shall come out of thee. Verse 7. And I will establish. 
you might want to highlight that, my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee and their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. And we know his seed is Christ, but that's those who receive Jesus Christ through faith, likewise of the children of Israel, of the stock of Abraham, uh, uh, we were, they was calling us Jews or Gentiles, Jews or Gentiles. That's the stock of Abraham. Right. And I will give unto thee until I see after thee the land wherein thou art a stranger and the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession. And I will be their God. And God said unto Abraham, thou shalt keep my covenant. Therefore, thou and I see after thee in their generations. This is the covenant which I will keep between me and you and I see after thee, every man child shall be circumcised. See that this goes back to Abraham. Y'all this circumcision that Jesus brought in Romans 15, eight, you shall be circumcised in your flesh of your foreskins. And it shall be a token of the covenant between me and you. And he that is eight days old shall be circumcised among you. Every man child and your generation, he that is born, in the house or bought with money or a stranger, which is not thy seed. He that is born in thy house and he that is bought with money must needs be circumcised. And my covenant shall be in your flesh. Right there, y'all. That's Jesus Christ. Right there. For an everlasting covenant. Jesus Christ is the, must be in our, he becomes our flesh like we must live by his faith. He is the everlasting covenant. Verse 14, drum roll. And the uncircumcised man child whose flesh of his foreskin is not circumcised, that so shall be cut off from his people. He had broken my covenant. You can't be one with God without circumcision, without Romans 15, 8. Right? You Gentiles, that's how you become Jews. That's how you become Jews. Romans 2, 28, 29. That's cutting off your old circumcision is killing your old sinful nature. That's killing your old sinful nature. That's the circumcision of Christ in Colossians. Let's get it. Colossians 2 and verse 6. That like Moses said, Christ is the end of the law. Uh, but you got to walk in him. Right? That's the end of the law for righteousness. Here's the righteousness. We read that Romans 10, 4 and 5, verse 4 and 5. As you had therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, the righteousness. He's the end of the law for righteousness. This is the circumcision, Romans 15, 8. Rooted, built up in him, established in the faith. Let's see that, established in his faith. That's his faith. When we get to Ephesians, we'll, if, hopefully we, got it, we can get there. As you have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Beware, least any man spoil you through philosophy. Vain to seek traditions of men, rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. See that? That's how we started out in Ephesians 4, right? One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one Christ, one body of Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness. Look, the fullness of the Godhead. That's your Father, the Word, the Holy Ghost. 1 John 5, 7. Right, right here. Jesus is the Godhead. For in Jesus Christ dwells all the fullness of the Godhead. Look at this. And you are complete in him, which is the head of all prince. This is our king, our judge, our lawgiver. Now, it's he that will deliver us and save us and fight for us, y'all. Right? In whom are all, uh, uh, he's the head of all, look, principality and power. Ain't that who we want? He's the head of all principalities and powers. Now who that wanna who that wanna fight us? Who that wanna fight who that who that wanna fight us? Huh? We the real saints. You got them new old no other saints. They be saying, who that? Who that? Who that say they gonna beat them saints? Who that? Who that? Who that say they gonna beat them saints? Who that wanna defy the armies of the living God? Let him come forth. Let him stand. Where's my enemy? Let him come forth. Because it ain't us, it's Christ, y'all. 
We got the we got the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. We got the head of all principalities and powers. Who that? Who that say they gonna beat them saints? Who that? Oh yeah. Ephesians 2.10, let's do it. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus under good works, which God had before ordained, that we should walk in them. Wherefore, remember that you being in time past, see that? In time past, we were the same body baptized in Christ Jesus through Moses and the Red Sea. One flesh, one people, one body, right? Being past Gentiles in times past, we were the Gentiles in the flesh. In the flesh, we were Gentiles who are called uncircumcision. That's the uncircumcision. Not all Israel is Israel, but today those who are circumcised in Christ Jesus, we are the true Israelites. Now, who that? Who that? Who that say they're going to defy the armies of the living God? Where's the Goliaths? Where are you giants at? We coming for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Like little David, we ain't had time to go to him, but he ran to Goliath to defeat him and to cut his head off. We ain't in our name. We in the name of the name that's above every name. Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah. Now who that? Who that going to defy the armies of the living God? Esau, eat them. Your mountains and your heritage is waste, waste water. And everybody on your mountain, on your side, are fools. Oh, they, they, they just lift it up with pride. You are the most proud. And you cannot stand before the indignation of God. All you're doing is creating indignation. When you challenge the Bible, when you challenge God's people, defying the armies of the living God, you want to ban the Bible? You want to ban Jesus Christ's name? You're creating indignation. You're creating your own destruction. Oppressing a man and his heritage. Who that? Who that say they want to defy the living God? Okay, you're going to get your chance. You're going to get your opportunity. Let's finish this out. Who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. That's all we were in the flesh. That's all we could do in the flesh. Verse 12, that at that time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of the promises, having no hope and without God in the world. You see that? That's the difference. Not all Israel's Israel, but they that received Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, the circumcision of Jesus Christ. They are the Israel adopted by Jesus Christ. They are called by his name. Verse 13. But now in Christ Jesus, you who sometimes were far off or made nigh by the blood of Christ. We got the blood. We got the banner. We got the banner of his name. We got the holy blood to enter beyond the veil into the holies of holies. Verse 14, for he is our peace who had made both one and had broken down the middle wall or partition between us. Verse 15, can we get a drum roll? Having abolished in the flesh the enmity, even the law of the commandments contained in ordinance for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. Another drum roll. 16, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one body, one spirit, y'all. By the cross, having slain the enmity thereby. And came and preached peace unto you who were far off, and to them that were nigh. For through him we both have access by one spirit. They would ate that same spiritual meat and that same spiritual drink. But one spirit by uh, uh, by one spirit unto the Father. Now, therefore, you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. 
and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. No other foundation can any man lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ, in whom you're all building fit, uh, fitly framed together. Our hearts are knit together as one man. One man. Unto a holy temple in the Lord. That's what you are. Holy temple. God's holy temple. And whom you're also built it together for an habitation of God through the spirit. That's what we become. Holy habitation of God. We are the house of the Lord. And David. Lord David. King David. Had that desire to what? Build a house for God. Build a house for God. And he did well that that was in his heart. But he was a man of war. He, could, he, he couldn't do it. Uh, but you and me can do it. Let's go to uh, verse 5 here. For even when we were dead in sins, had he quickened us together by, with Christ. For by grace are you saved. Right? And had raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in ages to come, he might show exceeding riches of his grace and kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are you saved, here it is, through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Let's read that one more time. Verse 8, for by grace, not the law, not the law of Moses, grace comes through righteousness. Death, burial, resurrection, grace come by the circumcision of the heart. Romans 15, 8. Romans 2, 28, 29. Jesus Christ, the Jews are circumcised in their heart. Remember, to this everlasting covenant shall be in our flesh. This faith of Jesus. Galatians 2, 20. For, for this grace are saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. This faith is the gift of God. That's what we read in Habakkuk 2, 4. Let's get one more. Galatians 2, 20. Call it a day. Galatians 2, uh, 20. It really starts with 15. That really is the whole chapter. But we're just, we end on 2, 20. Galatians 2, 20. Here's the end result, y'all. Here's, here's what it looks like. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'd love to go another hour, but, you know, let's finish this. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Here's, how, here's the end picture. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me and the life which I now live in the flesh. I live by the faith, the gift of God, of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Therefore, we become living sacrifices. Because Christ Jesus was a living sacrifice. That's the faith. And we become his image and likeness. And the earth. One new man. Who that? Who that say they want to fight that Christ? Your time is coming. Till next video, y'all. Thank y'all for rolling with your brother. Shout out again to the mighty great line. The blood of Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, and the faith of Jesus be with your spirits. Till next video. Peace.